Okay, so this video is an abbreviated version of uh, another video I did about Hydroban board shower. Uh, so this one, I, that one was kind of long, was like an hour and a half, but it goes through a lot of details, every little thing you need to know. This one here is just the, you know, it's pretty much complete, but it's uh, it's it's more uh, superficial in the sense that it doesn't go into in depth into the details. But there's one thing I wanted to say about. Um, this type of shower which is considered a sealed system when you're doing a vinyl liner for example what you what you need to do when you do it properly is you do a pre-slope you put your vinyl liner, liner in and then you put your final mud bed for the shower tile and then uh, so what happens with with the uh, with that mud bed is when you put the tile on top it's got weep holes I, I'll, I'll link to another another video I had that explains exactly how a three-piece drain works and a, and uh, a traditional shower, shower system works what I'm trying to get at is when you do a, a traditional vinyl liner, vinyl liner shower the mud bed pretty much always remains saturated with water because just the way that the uh, the, the drain is designed so when you do a seal system like like the laticrete system for example that's what they call as i said a seal system and everything the waterproofing is right under the tile instead of being um behind the board or under the uh, the mud it is directly under the tile so the uh so nothing ever really gets saturated and stays wet i'm going to do another video which, which explains uh, the difference between a vinyl liner, uh, seal system, uh, divot method, uh, mud, and all those kind of things. But in this video, I just wanted to point out that a seal system like the Hydroban uh, board system here is sealed. And the only thing that really gets wet is the grout and possibly the thin set under the tile, which can, you know, the water can penetrate down to that. But typically, that can dry out between uses. In a vinyl liner, in a traditional shower system, the mud bed pretty much always, once it gets wet, it stays wet because the uh, just the the, 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 the the amount of mud in the bed uh, where the water has to seep down through the mud and in, out the weep holes, it pretty much always stays wet. So I feel like a seal system is better than a traditional Vinyl line, and this one here, the the Laticrete system, is uh, is 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 a really good one. Uh, it gives you a few options on on how to do it, depending on whether you're doing a, uh, a regular shower or a steam shower. You have you know a couple of options on how uh, to do it. If you want to do it a little bit more on a, a fr on a little more budget friendly, so I just wanted to point that out before I. Uh, you know, went into the uh, rest of the uh, video where you see um, the complete installation of the shower. This only takes you as far as the mud bed and preparing for tile. It doesn't take you beyond that because then, you know, tile is installed in a normal manner. But I will be doing another video uh, where I show the installation of the tile. And as I said, this is a... Um, abbreviated version of another video that I made about this system which is an hour and a half long which goes into a ton of detail so up here with at the cards right here right here uh, I will put uh, a link to the uh, longer version of this video uh, I'll put a link to uh, the three-piece shower drain system uh, just you know it's an explanation on how the three-piece shower drain works and I'll you know put a couple more links up there as well and also don't forget to check out the um, description below where I've got a bunch of other links useful links that you might find helpful so anyway I uh, hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my online store dibsmart.com thanks this is a lightweight foam board with a hydroban membrane waterproofing on the front and back it's very very dense uh, extruded polystyrene foam board it's um, so this is waterproof 
The core is waterproof and the back is waterproof. It's a, the whole board is completely waterproof. Here's a 3x5. Three, three feet. A 5 foot length. And as I said, it's a polished, exclusive polystyrene board, very dense. And when you put this up, you don't need, you don't need washes, except if you do the seal. See that? One hand. Very light, very strong. Cut it with the utility knife, the sharp blade. These are black weight screws for the hydro band board. And you don't need washers on these. The only time you need the washers is if you do the ceiling or if you want to overlap the board, you can use a washer. Or you can just put a screw on the bottom and one on the top. And the studs have to be 16 inches on center, 2 by 4 So on all these seams, anything less than an eighth of an inch gap, like this, maybe an eighth of an inch, that's about an eighth of an inch, anything more than that, you have to fill it with thin set before you um, waterproof it with the, with the uh, hydro band, but because that's right around an eighth of an inch, I don't have to do that. So I can just coat that afterwards and it'll be good. So I'm going to put this piece on now. Okay, so I mapped all the spots, all the cutouts to here, and now I'm going to cut those out. Just using a keyhole saw, you can use a utility knife if you want. Okay, so this is, <clears throat> the board is up here, and it's all screwed in. Now, i got to treat the seams and the corners, and then when I put the mud in, i got to treat the transition from the wall to the mud. Okay, so for a regular shower, you have a couple of options. You can use the Hydroban waterproofing, liquid waterproofing membrane with 
a mesh tape, alkali resistant mesh tape. You can use the fabric. Now th these options here are for a regular shower when it's not going to be a steam shower. Steam shower you have to use different materials. Uh, the board's the same but instead you need to treat the corners with the membrane. It's a, it's a kind of a band of a waterproofing membrane and they also make inside and outside corners. So, and then you would install these with thin set, with a modified thin set. And when you put the, so you also have the option for the floor, uh, you can have the foam pad um, trays, which you can, you, uh, you know, cut and fit into the, in, into the floor, or you can do mud. And for the mud, you also have the option for a regular shower. This is a shower that is not a steam shower. You can waterproof, you know, I'll show you this later. Uh, for now, I'm just going to do the, um, all the corners and seams. So for the waterproof shower, you can, you either use the hy hydro band to waterproof and with the bonding flange, or you can use a membrane, which I don't have right now. I'm going to pick that up today. A membrane it's a sheet membrane that you tie into the into the bonding flange uh, I mean it, it seems a little bit confusing but as, as I'll show you as I go along so and now this is the, the bonding flange that goes it's three parts it's the bonding flange and then it's got uh, the bottom plate and then the train it screws into this this here it's hard to do one-handed. I'll show you in a minute. So anyway, this screws up. This screws onto here. I can't do it with one hand. So that's the bonding flange. Now this this needs to be also coated with two coats of the hydroband. Uh, and you know, just to be clear, when you use this system here with the with the hydro band it's always two coats and this is going to get get coated with hydro band as well and even if you use the membrane uh, the sheet membrane you still need to coat this with the hydro band so that the membrane and the thin set will stick to it so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the stuff all in that. so like I was showing this is the these screws on onto here This is stainless steel and you know, it's a plastic coat on here. And you screw it down to the correct correct height for the tile. And also have those that goes on there like that. So I'm gonna coat this, I'm gonna coat this surface here with the hydro band and I'm gonna make sure it's clean, it's dust free, there's no fingerprints on it so that you know, the hydro band will stick to it. I'm going to really make sure this is clean before I, I coat it. Okay, so this is the, the fabric. Right there. So this is the fabric. And I'm going to pre-cut all the lines here. I'm going to pre-cut all these lines. All these lines. And this. And this. And over there. And it always has to be a two-inch overlap. So... Okay, so when I do the mud, I'm going to use this, this for the mud, which is the fabric, which is actually the, the membrane. See that? It's the membrane. I'm going to use this, this here to waterproof the mud when I put it in. I'm not putting that in today. So this goes, I'm going to put that on, so this goes like this. It goes like that, and you put this on with a with a polymer modified thin set. But I'm going to get to this uh, when I do the mud. So for now, I'm just going to waterproof the curb and all the corners. So I pre-cut all all the pieces, the corners, up and down, to, uh, the horizontal, and the piece for here. And when you're using the hydro band here. 
I suggest you wear gloves because it gets on your fingers, it dries. It's really hard to get off. I'm gonna start in the corners and work my way down. To do the same thing, you can use this instead of the, the fabric. It's a little bit cheaper option, but I prefer the uh, the, the fabric because it just I think it gives a, a better job. But this is perfectly fine if you want to use this. So I'm going to get the rest of that, basically the same thing, and then you do a second coat. Okay, so the fabric is all on, all the corners, all the seams, all the screw heads, and I'm gonna, this is the first coat, now I'm gonna hit everything with the second coat. This is the, the curb, and when I do the mud, I'll show you how the door with thin set and this other membrane, it's a hydroman sheet membrane. I'll show you how to do it. Uh, that way although you could still you know put the mud in and do it with the uh, the same way I did this but just to show you how to do it this is what I'm gonna do so this also requires a coat of uh, when I do the sheet membrane so you coat up to this this ring here I'm not actually gonna give this a one coat just so you can see And then give this another coat, give that another coat. When you do that, so the thin set, when you put the sheet membrane on here, the thin set will stick to this. So, because if you don't coat it with a, because the hydro band will stick to it. And so you want, so when you put the sheet membrane on, the thin set will stick to the hydro band. And you want to make sure this is perfectly clean before you coat it. So this is dry. Do a second coat.
down some top here. Next is wire lath. Make sure you wear gloves because this will cut you. This is galvanized wire lath. the drain in. So I want this I want this to be an inch and a half off there. So right now like this right? okay so I cut a four and a half inch piece. Time for the mud. Okay, so I want to get a pitch of a quarter inch per foot. So I'm going to measure the furthest distance, which is right here, which is about two feet. So that means the mud here has to be half an inch higher than here. We need screed, so I'm going to put a level perimeter in all the way around and I'm going to have to screed down to my drain cool. I'm 
just gonna let this down so it's level. Perfect. So I'm going to do this side and this side, then fill the middle. So I'm going to mix this a little bit wetter. So I can pack it into the drain. It already has the line before. Yeah, that's much wetter now. Yeah, that's much wetter. I'm going to pack it under the drain here. I'm going to tap this down. Uh, right on here and right on there you get the get the pitch. See I'm flat on there, I'm flat on here. much it I just you know try a little bit more clean it up and but that's pretty much it it um, okay so this is the next day it's dry I swept it off clean it off I'll put the membrane down okay so this is the sheet membrane I'm gonna be using on the floor this is the band around the perimeter Outside corners, inside corners. Now this, I just wanna, I'm using this um, because I wanna show how you would do it if it was a steam shell. So when I cut the, the band here, I'm not going to go all the way to the corner. I'm just going to go up to this edge here and this edge here so I get a two inch overlap. this and you still got your all your oh, two inch overlap everywhere now to install you need a venus trail quarter by 3 16 inch venus trail and that's what i'm going to use to install all this okay so to install 
the uh, membrane and everything, I'm going to use Trilite. Uh, Laticrete recommends a polymer modified thin set, and obviously they want you to use theirs, which is really good stuff. So first I'm going to put the corners in. Okay, now I'm gonna go the rest of the way around. The rest of the way around. Okay, I'm gonna open the concrete and put the membrane in. Pretty much done. Let that dry, flood test it tomorrow, 
that is completely waterproof the whole shower is completely waterproof the top section as I said was if you're gonna do just a regular shower and you could use that method on the mud as well just paint everything and put some fabric in the corners or mesh tape if you were, and you're gonna do a seam shower you use the membrane with the with the band and it, it, this is the method for steam showers but you can also use it for a shower if you want so there you go that's totally waterproof shower so it's being flood tested the um, water's at the same level it's been sitting here for 24 hours perfect